Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. Ten wins, nine losses, one draw. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Windsor, Ontario, Canada, Randa Quiet Storm Marcos. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. Eight wins, one loss. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Long Beach, California, Mackenzie Dern. Card assignments tonight for him. Randa Marcos, say plus 145. Dern. This fight clock is brought to you by Modelo. Okay. This is her customary is in the all red. Oh, Mackenzie Dern is in the white with black. Randa Marcos as. Wow. Stay out, man. Stay out. Let go, let go. So we hit the ground early. I don't know. Just, I mean, I don't oh, see the point of going to the ground right now. Why not just wait? We saw this talk in the triangle. Yeah, she's got good control of the, you know, the posture here. Position earlier, and she goes up to the head to pull the head down. So she's gonna... With we're, the way we're seeing Dern grab that, and if she can adjust to it. Rhonda's doing a good thing by sitting up high, but... Rhonda Marcos. She's got that locked in. Now it's just a matter of time. That uh, shin, the way she's doing, and then transitioning to the arm, back and forth between the arm bar, Alma Plata and the triangle here. She's doing the right thing so that Randa can't posture too long. She can go Marco staying composed, maintaining posture. Let's see which one she, that Marcos gives her. Dern's doing the right thing. She'll want to manipulate the triangle, and that's what you're seeing her do. Marcos isn't having it. Late the left arm of Marcos in order to try to get her to bend her posture into. But just out or the other arm in and try to advance position because like we saw earlier tonight, she's got to make a decision. She's really got to try to get that arm. Buena Silva, you get arm bar to triangle and here you don't want to, you hang out too long, just like earlier in the night. You hang out too long. With you see how Dern has her arm swiveled through the left leg be doing that with Mackenzie Dern, I can tell you that. Well, the other thing, it's locked in, and Marcos cannot scramble out of it because of the way she's got her arm of Marcos. So if she does lock in that triangle, her leg hooked in there. So she switches to Alma Plata there, and then transitions to a beautiful transition for Dern. Now she's in the top. Marcos go right to the top position. Very nice transition. Looking to get half guard, but Dern in half guard. She's using her half guard to try to release the pressure. Of having that either passes directly to mount, then Marcos gets it back to him. Going straight to the pass, back to mount again. That shoulder of Dern off of her. But Dern immediately. She's going to look to get that left ankle. Out of the half guard of Marcos here. Slow, methodical approach. Now, see how she pushes the arm out like that on the mat. Nice transition. That, that allows Dern to be able to just keep Marcos. She's still struggling to get that. Dern still struggling to here from Mackenzie Dern as well. I saw a short, short elbow foot that's caught now. Dern's looking for an arm bar here. She wants to get that left foot. She can sit back to an arm bar here. If she puts that, yep, there it is. And she's and then step over the head. You see how she's got the right arm hooked of Marcos? She's looking for an arm bar. There it is. She got it sunk in, and that is tight. Ladies. And then she's crossing it over. There it is. Now she the, can't get the angle. She's got to keep keeping there. that foot. Yeah. See how Dern is putting it under the armpit? And Marcos doing the right so thing. Getting that leg. Gentlemen, let me tell you. That is not fun to be in. There it is. The thumb of Marcos. If she keeps that. Now, the reason why Marcos is able to stop this, she's got the left leg so flexible. Yeah, she's going to eat some hammer fists. Oh, that is deep. But these girls are stuck with Marcos. Marcos can't turn her thumb down and then get out of the armbar. Now, there it is. Mackenzie Dorn.
It's fun to watch grapple. I could watch that all day. I mean, it's methodically beautiful. It's position by position by position. And we saw that position earlier in the fight. Uh, in earlier matches, we saw that triangle position and it went to armbar. She went to omoplata, which is the opposite way, created the next transition and finished the fight with an armbar, step by step by step. If you want to learn jujitsu from anybody, you can watch these black belts uh, in the UFC and some of them are just unbelievable. And go watch Mackenzie Dern's grappling match against Gabby Garcia in which she was on the wrong end of a hundred pound differential. Oh. Now time for Impact Performer brought to you by the US Army. Frame, frame. We see here she frames the face in order to get the, egg, the that right over the head and that starts the armbar transition. Then from here it's just tiny little adjustments until you break that elbow or bust it. And such a good job, that's such a hard position to finish. And Dern really made all the perfect adjustments. Anybody at home that wants to learn jiu-jitsu, watch her adjustments here because this is not an easy transition. Marcos did not make it easy and Dern did it perfectly. Look at the leverage she got and the way she manipulates her hips, gets her foot out. Everything is just beautiful. Look at that left foot of Dern here. Marcos is keeping that foot so she can't get the leverage and she just turns her knee in and that created the leverage for her to pull her foot out which then created the finish. Great job by Dern. All right, Mackenzie Dern, the former two-time Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. All right, now to make this one official is Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jason Herzog has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 44 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to an armbar, Mackenzie Dunn! So the UFC strawweight division, guys, is ubiquitously regarded as the deepest we have among the women. And I think a lot of fans, after what they saw tonight, Dom, are excited to see what 15th ranked Mackenzie Dern can do. How could you not be excited after that? She makes it look easy the way she finishes people. She lands right hands. If she doesn't land the right hand, then she gets the takedown. And the way that you saw her move transition through transition in, the, in that jiu-jitsu position, it looked like old Ronda Rousey back in the day. Speaking of jiu-jitsu, anybody that's ever taken a Brazilian jiu-jitsu class in their life has heard this song playing right now, and you've ran around the mats warming up to it a thousand million hundred times. <laughs> I've taken six jiu-jitsu classes And you've definitely life, heard this song. And I have heard this song. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. I don't know if I'm going to have Shout a Shout out to you Brazilians and all you coaches. What I saw from Mackenzie Dern tonight. And nice to see some of the elite athletes on this roster chiming in. Gilbert Durinho Burns, John Jones among them. Aljo checking in, no denying she's dangerous, pretty good dancer as well. A little thrown off by Perillo growing out his hair, but we'll look back <laughs> at it again. Yeah, look at this, just beautiful posture, uh, crushing Randa Marcos' posture. To throw, look, most most people aren't thinking about this type of arm bar, right? You're just gonna throw both legs over, and she doesn't even get that left leg out until the very end. She works four to five different ways to, a, to address that arm bar and attack that elbow, and once she gets that foot loosened just a little bit, Ronda Marcos has to tap immediately. Ronda Marcos, excuse me. And um, that's really unfortunate. You know, that's just another setback for her. But Mackenzie Dern looked fantastic tonight. And she's on her way, I believe, to the station there for a second. But, I mean, that's a statement right there.